the fuck it do, man. It's Ever, and you tune in with the voice of the youth, Toggle Talks TV. Hey, look, man. You already know what the fuck going on. <laughs> it's your boy, Taco. We got a special guest with us right here. You know what I'm saying? What's your name, bro? Ever, man. E B D R. Uh-huh. Ever. And, and what, what helped you come up with that name? That's my real name. Carl? Contrary to what people believe, they think it's a nickname. That's my real name. Like, is it part of your, part of your name or your name? No, nah, that's just... flat out my name. My name is Dang. Yeah. That's crazy. Uh, is it a story behind your name? Yeah, um, I'm actually named after my uncle. My uncle ended up passing away like a couple months before I was born. Yeah. So when I was born, they was like, just named him after my uncle and shit. Damn. Yeah. That's sweet. Sorry. Rest in peace, your uncle, yeah, bro. That's all good. You know what I'm saying? I ain't mean to start the joint with yeah, the same story. I ain't mean to be like that. But yeah, that's crazy. Do you feel like it's any like expectations behind you trying to like, be like your uncle? No. Nah. Like, like that? Or nah. was it? I feel like if I would have known him, then maybe people would have expected me something yeah. good, but I ain't know him, so I can't really. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, that's sweet. I feel you on that. Um, now, you used Saudi Robin, like 2017, yeah. in the beginning. Mm -hmm. I seen the tape, the tape was cranking, but how did you how did you start rapping? Uh, see, when I started making this, my first song was They Don't Know. Yeah. And that was like my first official song. Like I was taking it, like not really seriously, but I was like, man, let me just go ahead and do the song. Yeah. And uh, the story behind that song was one of my boys had got locked up, and there was a lot of chit chat and speculation going around. So you know, I, I just decided to go on, on the music and yeah. voice what I thought was the real story. Yeah. And uh, these other people they didn't know what they were talking about. So yeah. that's why the song yeah. called They Don't Know. You feel what I'm okay, okay, I like that. Um. Is your man home now? No, nah, he's still in. They gang 15. Free him, free him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, free he though, man. Free my nigga. I'm well, gonna say the tape, man. That that song they don't know. Was that on the tape? Yeah, that was on it. That was one of them. And it, it came out on the tape first or single? No, nah, it was first? a single first. Yeah. But since like we we was doing shows and people knew the song and shit like that, so we was like, fuck it, we gonna throw that on there too. We come. Yeah. It's one of them songs I guess they just caught on a little bit. Yeah. And we was like, fuck it, throw it on there. What what now? When you start rapping, was it hard for you, or was it just like? Nah, it was. Uh, I mean, cause I mean, I think everybody starts off like freestyling with their men and shit yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, like when I would do it, people would be like, "Man, you trying like all right, fool?" Yeah. You know what I mean, so when I did that and people was fucking with me, I was like, "Fuck it up." Yeah. You know what I mean? I think I got some talent, some potential. Yeah. Let's see, we can take this shit. You feel me? Yeah, that's definitely real cool. I I respect that. Um, I feel like a lot of people they really just be you know. For whatever reason or another, you know what I'm saying? Not to say that I'm right or wrong, but people just be, you know, coming out rapping. Right. And uh, it's crazy, like, you never know how some high story mm -hmm. build up. Right. And you just saying, like, the surface with it. Um, but the tape, though, how was that? What was that process like for you? Like, your first tape, like, would you, was you nervous? What was your feelings behind it? I mean, I feel like in the very beginning, I was nervous, yeah. yeah. Just because I didn't know if people was going to rock with what I was saying, my message, or the yeah. music, period. Yeah. But then uh, once I put the tape out and I was printing out like little singles and yeah. people was fucking with me, I was like, fuck it. No more yeah. nerves, you feel me? All that shit went out the window. Yeah, I feel mm -hmm. Dang. So, so like, then what? When you was, when you was in the studio, was it? Was you anxious? Was it like you wanted to do it more? Like what feeling did you have in there your first time? Not the first time, but like different yeah, mode. Yeah, nah, I mean the very beginning, I just felt like I had a lot to say. Yeah. You know what I mean? So like other people get on the mic and they, they say whatever, whatever, whatever. Yeah. But I feel like in some of my music, I got to speak for what I've been through, yeah. another man been through, yeah. or the shit that I done seen, you feel yeah. me? So if you listen to the Forever Mixtape, I had a lot of shit to say. You go through all the songs, yeah. and you actually pay attention to the lyrics. Yeah. You might learn something. You know? I'm about to say, because you definitely rapping like different subjects. You right. know what I'm saying? Niggas mm -hmm. is really rapping about guns, lane, hood, mm -hmm. child, da da da. Right. You rapping about life, right. for mm -hmm. real. Like, right. and I thought about that when I'm listening to the, the Rocket. Yeah, right. that. The, what's the jungle Rocket at the beginning? Is that for my people? Oh, yeah, yeah. I got a jungle Rocket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's my shit right that, there. That, that, that quote that Rocky said, I wrote it down. And he said, uh, he was like, it's about how many times you, it's not about how many times you can get hit and keep more moving forward, but, oh wait, no, 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 I said something, I said, it's not about how hard you get hit, it's about how many times you can get hit and keep moving forward. Right. Mm -hmm. Why, why, why you pick that 
I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's real powerful to right. just boom, slide in on the tape. I mean, you gotta understand, like, everybody's got their own problem, their own demons yeah. that they're dealing with. Yeah. I mean, how many times you've been punched and you've been struggling to get back up? You yeah. know? Get the fuck back up. Yeah. Stop worrying about it. The next day, you, yeah. know, you know what I mean? So, that's just me personally. I don't yeah. know how everybody else deals with this shit, but that's just me. I feel like I had to, especially if you hear the lyrics of the song, yeah. I feel like I had to throw that in there. And it's funny how that came about, too, because. I actually had just seen the movie. Yeah. And then I'm like, oh. Which one is that from? Is that from that's Rocky? The, that, that for, that's, uh, that's Rocky, but like the, the one where he had his, his son and shit. Yeah, yeah, I, mean, okay. I don't know that what number it is. Yeah. No, no, not Creed. The, uh, it might be Creed. It might, it might be Creed. Be Creed. Yeah. Well, I got to go back and check. Yeah, but. That's what I wasn't sure because I, I don't think I ever seen Rocky or if I seen like pieces of it. But, so I couldn't piece where it came from. But. Right. I heard that though. I'm like, dang. Yeah. That's some crazy yeah. shit. Like he said it during the movie. You overlook it or whatever. I overlook it. Um. But back to the tape, you had some really cool beats on there, like some really cool like flows on the beat. Um, what inspired the kind of beats that you chose? Um, at, at that point, when I was making the music, I was on some like real like steady, I guess you could say, I was looking for like real steady beats, yeah. like something where I could, it's not more about the beat, it's more about, I want you to pay attention to my words, yeah. you feel me? So, of course, now I'm doing bump music and shit yeah, like that. Cause yeah. after a while, you start progressing, and you yeah. learn your lane and shit yeah, like that. Yeah. But yeah, then I was just trying to get my message out. I wanted you to l listen to the words, not that let was alone. Not smart. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> not let alone just the beat. You feel yeah. what I'm saying? So. Do you think? And this song, I, ain't, I I just wondered about it while you know listening to you and looking at you. Do you think it's a whole strategy <laughs> behind rapping? Uh, or do you think and, it's and just about you? how you move? Not marketing, but like the success, how to create your success. I mean, I'm still trying to get to, yeah. you know what I'm saying, another level of success. I yeah. mean, I think I, I, I mean, how can I say it? Like, I feel like I'm, I'm dead, yeah. but it's like a whole other level I could get to, you feel me? Yeah. So, um, I'm still working on it myself, man. But, if I get the but from where you started from to now, to you now? think it's a strategy or like, did you have a strategy? No. I don't even know it. No, no, no. I think we just dove in with the music. Yeah. I, I mean, I ain't gonna lie, I couldn't do it by myself. Yeah. I got a lot of people that's working with me. They, they yeah. believe in me just like I believe in me. Yeah. You feel me? So I, I couldn't do this shit by myself. You know what I mean? And yeah. there's plenty of times where I felt like, fuck the music. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, I gotta get yeah. this bread, woo, woo, yeah. you know what I mean? So, yeah, but I, I, I ain't stopped. You feel me? Mm -hmm. I respect that. I respect that. And how do you how important is it to you to like get somebody else to believe in your dream like it's a really hard process right. but you know for other people you see them hit it quicker than how right. how did how hard was it for you um, i mean me personally this area um even the people that really say they fuck with you kind of like yeah. they stick around just in case you do make yeah, it, you feel yeah, what i'm saying yeah. but um it's hard, man. DMV area is hard. Yeah, but I'm starting to realize that it's, it's going full circle. Like, you see, we, we, we getting hot out here. Yeah. So the artists that feel like they hot yeah. and they feel like the other artists on the cusp, we starting to help each other out. Yeah, you know what I mean? yeah, so yeah. That's the key I, I see, right yeah, there. I see the change in, 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 our, in our area. People are actually starting to take the time and see yeah. the upcoming talent and yeah. be like, man, fuck it, let me help you up. Yeah. You know what I mean? So That's really important. Mm -hmm. You know, and I'm looking at that, and I've been seeing a lot of that, and that's like, you know exactly my my same thoughts on the situation, but I hope that I hope that the success continues. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. As artists grow and artists yeah. help others mm -hmm. help other artists up. Have you performed before? Yeah, um, I performed at the Fillmore. What was it? The, the Summerfest? Okay, yeah. it's called DMV Summerfest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was up there. Um, I only got to perform one song over some 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 behind the scenes shit. Yeah. But um yeah, I mean they told me one song, I said fuck it, I'm gonna do it without. Yeah. yeah. And it was, was, How was it? It was cool, man. I got to chop it up with uh, a couple other artists like so you know what I mean? So it was cool, man. Like, I can't complain. So so far it seemed like you've done everything you know it is to do like as an artist. Not musical but like each time it's like studio rhyming yeah. features, like performing. Which one you like the most? I probably I ain't gonna lie, I probably like the being in the studio for real. Yeah. But, but see, my, my process is I like to be isolated in the studio. Okay. So just me and the engineer. Yeah. I mean, it'd be cool sometimes you got all your men in there, but I like to just be me, the music, and the engineer, and we get shit done way quicker. Yeah. Do you think that that helps you, like, 
like, like focus on your flow. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Or does it help like block some creativity? Which one? Nah, you? I think I think it helps with my flow. Cause I mean, like if you if you in the if you in the studio with 15 different folks, yeah. and they all got an opinion, yeah. and, and then you listen to all their opinion, yeah. you probably not gonna get the, the process is gonna go slow. Yeah. You know? yeah so, to, to the artists that be worrying about what other people think, yeah. do what you gotta do. Yeah. If you feel like your flow is your flow, man, keep that shit. Yeah. And then worry about the opinions after the fact. Yeah. But be, be cool, cool with the criticism, though. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Because everybody ain't gonna fuck with you. Yeah. Hurt. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think that that can end up messing somebody up, though? Well, like, if you, if like, say if I'm giving you, yeah, yeah, that, or if I'm giving you some, some feedback and I'm like, all right, now nah, I'm not worried about what he's saying because I'm sticking to. You know? I mean, if, if you go that route, you're going to find out one way or another. You yeah, know what I mean? so, yeah, I respect that. I, respect <laughs> that. Um, I was going to say, for you, do you listen to a lot of other artists? Um, I actually stick to like a certain bracket of you know, music. Like, I don't yeah. listen to like little pumps and shit yeah. like that, but I think they cool. I think they doing what they do. You feel me? They got the youth and shit. Yeah. But um, as far as like who I listen to, um, I listen to like The Reds, Deshaun, uh, Gunna, yeah. Baby. Niggas in that category. Yeah, you know? I respect that. Do you think that? Uh, do you think that listening to what what other genres of music you listen to? Spanish music. Spanish trap music. Okay. Do okay. <laughs> you think that is ever gonna play an effect on on your music? On my music? Yeah, just like not the Spanish music, but your influences or other genres. Yeah, I mean, I hope so. That's what we're in it for, right? Yeah. I mean, like the music is music. Yeah. Right? You feel what I'm saying? So it's like if, if this artist is artistic and I can blend it, blend it with my artistic way, yeah. why not? Yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Or get this sound out of and put it in my sound, why not? Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, I like that. Do you ever do you ever think that you bite him? Like when you why are you doing that? Are you like, hmm, am I biting or is this just like I'm artistic? Somebody else swag? I swag, but like the flow. If, it, if it's like, I mean, I done, I done got been, I, I done been compared yeah. to like other other people. Like I done got J Cole early on, yeah. and I got Meek Mill on a couple songs. Yeah. But I feel like my name attached to them is a blessing for real. Like yeah. if you compare me to them niggas, then goddamn, I'm gonna be doing something right. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, that's good. Yeah, so. I respect that. Man. I just wanted to, because I felt like you was about to go a different way with it, and I like that you went that way, because, you know, most people, they do whatever they be doing, right, but right. <laughs> but you ain't do that. Um, mm -mm -mm. What kind of beats do you like? Um, like, do you listen for any instrument in particular, or uh, a beats per minute, or anything like that? Yeah, I mean... All that coming to effect, but me personally, as of like right now, yeah, I'm just trying to get some more bump music, yeah. some more instruments, like you said, and yeah. shit like that. The uh, song I got in the works with uh, Gunna, yeah. that joint got heavy instruments in it. Yeah. So, yeah, shit like that I like all the time. And let's let's talk about that uh, upcoming tape, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I know you got some big features on there. Mm -hmm. How does that how does that make you feel, like being in the studio with all these other different people? I mean... I'm one of the type of niggas that I'm I'm paying attention. Yeah. You feel me? So like prime example like Gun and Baby and them yeah. when they came to the studio, they not writing this shit. Yeah. They in there listening yeah. to music and yeah. straight bars. Yeah. You feel me? I'm still at that stage where I write all my bars. Yeah. I'm not sitting there trying to fake freestyle and yeah. shit like that. Nah, yeah. I'm gonna take my time and, and especially like when you do music with these artists that's already known. Yeah. You gotta take your time. Yeah. You gotta perfect that shit. Yeah. Cause the last thing you wanna do is spin the bag and get overlooked on your own song. Yeah, yeah, you know that's I'm crazy. <laughs> so I'm just giving it a hundred, you feel me? So yeah. that's, that's just me though. But yeah. I mean being in the studio with them, bro, you learn a lot from them, you know yeah. what I mean? It's some it's some certain, you know what I'm saying, artists yeah. that don't really interact with the person that they doing the music with. Yeah. But it is something that, you know what I'm saying, they, you know. You think that's bad or is that like a their version of like how you say when you be focusing? I mean, it could be either or. Yeah. I, I ain't gonna know. I'd be like, if you don't know, speak to me, you could be in your mind processing yeah, how you're yeah. gonna do the music. You know what I mean? But me personally, I like to interact with the artist so we both know what we, what type of music we yeah. gonna make. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. So, uh, what did I say about that? You said take your time. How do you, how you take your time with like, something like, oh, I got a show in this amount of time, or I'm trying to catch this flight by this amount of time. Like, do you think that slows you down, or like, artists oh, willing to work with you more because you're trying to slow it down? Um, I mean, it, it might, to give it on, it might slow, it might slow the process down. Yeah. If I'm taking my time with the shit, you know what yeah. I mean? Especially if it's one of, them, one of them records where the artist that you put on it with you is fucking with the song too, yeah. then yeah, it's going gonna, it's gonna to slow yeah. down the process, you feel what I'm saying? Yeah. But, I mean, either, either way, it's all about the quality of the music, you feel yeah. what I'm saying? So if I take an actual day or two to make the song, yeah. but it's ten times better, yeah. why not? You yeah. Know what I mean? yeah, I respect that. Uh,
Uh, you got any criteria for what a banger might be? Nah, I feel like uh, when it happens, it happens. Right? Yeah. I don't even feel like the artist knows it's a banger. You know what yeah. I mean? Because I done been in the studio and I, I done did a song, I'm like, damn, that's a banger. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, I put it out and it's like, yeah, that joint cool, but yeah. it ain't a banger. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. So, I mean, I think that shit just happens, bro. You think that distracts you? Sometimes if somebody be like, if you, if you, not somebody, but if you thought it was going to be a banger, then people didn't receive it how you wanted it to. No, on to the next. We're going to try again. We're going to keep yeah. trying until you get that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So. I like the mindset. I like your mindset. Uh, five random questions real quick. Five know? random questions. What's that? Yeah. All right, so five random questions is just so. Oh, five random questions. Yeah. Oh, I thought you said five round questions. I'm like, oh. Nah, what nah, nah, nah. This ain't no. Ain't no. Ain't Yeah, that was shit. Nah, nah. Um, so when you was a kid, what was your three favorite TV shows? Three favorite TV shows? Yeah. I'd probably say Courage the Cowardly Dog. <laughs> I used to watch that shit all the time. You wasn't scared? Nah. <laughs> I thought that shit was cool. Yeah. I mean, if you really pay attention to it, his name Courage, bro. He be scared, but he gonna do it. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. So, Respect. Yeah, but uh, other than Courage, I, I um, don't join on me when you're in here. I used to watch Heavy Yu-Gi-Oh. Oh yeah, anime is what it's saying. Yeah, Heavy Yu-Gi-Oh. And then uh, probably like One Piece. Okay, yeah. you watch anime a lot? Two years since all right, all right. What anime is you, you like for real? For real, only yeah. two. Naruto and uh, One Piece, that's probably it. Dang, what about Dragon Ball Z? Oh yeah, that's cool too. Do you be, do but you I don't be, really look at that as like anime for real. Yeah. To me, I don't know. I just yeah. feel like that's been around. It's a normal job. I feel like yeah. anime is like one of them TV shows where it's like, it's foreign to you, you feel what yeah. I'm saying? But, yeah, that's an anime. It's in that bracket. Do you uh, you be taking time to watch anime now? Nah. Okay. Nah, them them, them episodes be too long. It take yeah. like four days to see a nigga get beat. Up. <laughs> no bullshit though. They bragging yeah, for four for days. Like, I be what? looking at four it. Four episodes <laughs> and you be like, dang. In real time, it's only like three minutes. <laughs> right. But they stress the mm -hmm. joint. Um, thanks. So second random question: What kind of energy do you want your do you want your music to give off? Um, I mean, I don't know so much about the, the energy, but I feel like when people should listen to my music, they should embrace the music. Yeah. And, and instead of just like listening to the beat, yeah. listen to the wordplay, yeah. listen to what I'm saying, and shit like that. That's what I want people to really, when they listen to my music, because I can make my music too. Yeah. And, and you know what I'm saying, that's what I'm trying to do now, but I feel like I just, I, I just want to get my message out there. Yeah. And if it ain't about me, it's about what I seen, yeah. what my partner done did, or you know what I mean? So, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, energy though, positive energy, I got yeah. you, know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I feel that. Uh, third random question, do you save money? Hey, I save as much money as I can. All right. And, and, and my, my good men over here vouch for me. Yeah. I be, yeah, I'm saving my bread, stacking it up yeah. until it look different. Yeah, you know yeah, I, mean? I, feel so, you, I feel you. And what's that like for you? Like, sometimes you gotta, you gotta spend money. Yeah, I mean, if I got to, then that's different. Yeah. But if it's like, I'm sitting there, and I'm like, man, I want these. $250 yeah. sneakers. Yeah. But whole time, I could save my 250 and you know what I'm saying, go get some course ass seats or something. Yeah, yeah. What I'd rather do? I'd rather yeah. go look sweet at the, at the ball game and yeah, spend yeah. my 250 on some kicks. I'm a dog yeah. out. You feel me? Yeah, so, I feel you. I feel you. That's a good mindset. A lot of people don't have that. Uh, all right, so just in life in general, do you enjoy the chase or you enjoy the catch? Hmm. So what you're saying is like chasing the goal. Yeah. Or when I finally grasp the goal. Yeah, which one you like more? I think I like grasping the goal. Yeah. But I look back and enjoy what I just did to get the goal. You feel yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. But definitely grasping the goal. Once you get there, you like, I thought I won, but yeah. I did. Yeah. You feel yeah. me? I'm here yeah. now. You feel yeah. me? So, definitely. Mm. All right, last random question. Would you rather be dropped in a pit of snakes or a pit of porcupines? Mm. I don't know. I mean, I'd I wouldn't want to do neither one. Ain't no other option? No other option. Right. Or somebody gonna spar and kick you in that joint. Uh, I ain't fucking with them snakes. <laughs> but them porcupines down like, yeah, I probably, I probably go to porcupines, girl. <laughs> I think, I don't know for sure, but I think porcupines make you numb. Like the little joints, yeah, they got yeah, the stings or whatever. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I don't know. I'm gonna be numb as fuck in there. I don't know. But, Respect. Yeah, I ain't fucking with no snakes though. Okay? Respect. Um. I like. You got anything you want to talk about? We didn't talk about. And uh, the upcoming album. Yeah. I just want to um, 
everybody to know that niggas have been working. Yeah. Uh, I know it's been a slow process with the music. I ain't really been releasing shit like, yeah. like how I wanted to. But uh, only because you don't see it, I mean, you're not working. Yeah. yeah. So uh, there's going to be a lot of features on there. Yeah. A lot of local artists on there. How you get them features? Uh, can you drop me some names? I drop, yeah. I got a light show in there. Good man, okay. light show. Um, we need two more. We got Gun on there. Okay. And we got my good man Glizzy. Yeah. In there too. Okay, that's a little sweet combination. What is it? Is there any particular people that you aim for when you got them, or was it just people came in? Oh yeah, this joint nice. Let's do this. One. Yeah, I mean like when I sometimes I give them a selection on yeah. like YouTube the beat, or I already got a song ready. Yeah. But uh, majority of the time we just buy about and we see what yeah. we can be come up with. You know? Yeah. 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 What's that process like? Is it different for you? Like, I know we talked about like you want to slow it down and write, but like your energy, how you feel when you're doing that? Nah, I'm, I'm, if I'm in there alone or if I'm in there with a multi-platinum, it don't matter. I'm yeah. still trying to do what my best I can do. That's every day, though. That's yeah. the thing I do, you feel me? Yeah. So, but yeah, now nah, I, I don't change. I don't feel no different if it's like a major artist next yeah. to me now. Nah. You got a date for the, for, the, for the album yet? I'm trying to do it before the end of July, yeah. but I do want to release it for the summer. Because yeah. I feel like some songs on there, there's definitely some summer anthems. Yeah. So we're going to see though. Yeah. But everything right now, it's basically done. Yeah. We just got to mix and master everything, yeah. the track list and shit like yeah. that. Yeah. And then, you know. Excuse me, are you excited now? Like you complete or you want, like you got some more stuff you want to do for like album mode, what people would say? Uh, no, I got I got a lot more stuff. I'm, yeah. trying, I'm trying to show my versatility as yeah. well. So like like you said in the Forever Jump, I was kind of like on some like, you know what I'm saying, sending a message, like yeah. you gotta listen to the words. This one's more of like, I'm I'm trying to not steer out my lane, yeah. but I'm trying to explore different angles, yeah. you know what I mean, different yeah. lanes and see you know, perfected, basically, yeah. you know what I mean, so. Uh, are you religious? Nah, I can't really say. Do you think that religion plays a part in success? Or well, even since it's not in your life, but. I mean, for general. those who believe in it, yeah. I mean, I believe there's a high power. Okay. Now, if, if you want to get, like, real deep into it, like. I do. With, like, <laughs> as far as, like, doing every little thing that you know what I'm oh, saying? Yeah, yeah. I, I'm probably I'm probably not. I mean but everybody is sinning so yeah. you know what I'm saying? I'm smoking gas right now, yeah, I'm sinning right now, you yeah, get yeah. it? I mean but period though. So those that believe in it, yeah. of course they're gonna feel like if they get to a certain level like it was because of the grace of God. You know yeah. I mean? But I do believe in the high power. I definitely do believe in it. Well what made you not pick a selection? Something in your life or just what? No, it's too I mean it's too many religions. But what did make me believe that it was a high power was one time I was at a church yeah. and um, for some reason the pastor singled me out and was like, I want you to come to the front. And I was young. I came to the front and he started doing his, his thing. I blacked out and I woke up crying. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I was young as fuck, so for me to remember that now, yeah. I know it was something that, you know what I mean? Yeah, so yeah. it was weird, yeah. it was cool, and you know, that just made me believe like it's something else out there. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? That's just me, though, my personal yeah. experience. Nah, that's cool. That's cool. I think it's always important to explore different mindsets, you know what I'm saying? Or different beliefs or whatever. Um, but that's it, man. So thanks for tuning in. It's your boy, Taco. You know, peace out, girl. Shout out, sweet dreams down to James. See you around like a donut. Make sure you stay tuned to Taco Talks and tune into my man, Alba. Shout out, my nigga, Taco, man. Yeah, good shit, bro. I appreciate you. Hey, and we out. Look, though, for the tape, is it any new uh, engineers we should know about? Any specialty engineers? Yeah, we got uh, definitely the front one, my man, Nail. Yeah. Uh, my good man Rob. Yeah. Uh, but I mean like foreign about, engineers. Oh yeah. Niggas yeah, out yeah. ATL. Yeah, I got put my good man from around here. Yeah, yeah, okay, 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 I feel we you. Got Nail, we got Rob. He go by Nimbus though. And then we definitely got my man from out the A uh Turbo. Shout out my nigga Turbo, man. Okay, okay. Turbo on the beat. Yeah, I yeah. like that. Shout out to everybody else. Y'all did some good shit. Definitely fucking with me, man. Shout out to nigga Turbo for real. Yeah.